What's up, everybody? It seems that Twitch has actually released some new uh, features that will help secure your chat through phone and email verification requirements. Uh, this just got announced today on their blog and on, on their social media. Uh, they are rolling it out today to um, creators. Uh, if you don't see it in your settings, uh, you may want to log out and then back in. That uh, That is how I was able to, f to see those settings. So let's dive into what they do and look at how to configure them. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is to go to your creator dashboard and then open your settings menu and then find the moderation section. And so uh, below your auto mod controls and your chat option is a new section called channel privileges. And this is where we can set up how protected you are in your chat for your channel. Um, by default, it just is going to allow all chatters for email and it's not going to require any kind of phone verification. Uh, they have a really quick way to do it. You can actually just click set all to Twitch minimum recommendation and it will come up with uh, what Twitch has considered to be their their bare minimum. But let's let's look at the different things you can do really quick. So this is divided up by email verification and phone verification. Uh, let's start with the email. So by default, uh, it allows all chatters must have a verified email. So that is uh, actually excellent here. Um, they start you with that. You don't have to even turn that on. I didn't turn this setting on. Um, if you're wanting to go fast and loose, you can turn off email verification, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you're looking for a bit more control or you know loosening it up in a couple different ways, this option of some chatters must have a verified email allows uh, different controls here. You can toggle on that first time chatters in my channel must have a verified email. Um, your, your second one uh, limits the age of uh, accounts that don't have a verified email from actually chatting. So uh, by default says chatters without a verified email, may, email must have accounts older than a week. That's the default setting, although you can set it to be as low as an hour or as much as six months. So you can say, hey, you know what? It's totally OK to have chatters without a verified email, but they have to have an account that is of a specific age. So you can set that here. Um, and then the final option under this sub option is chatters without a verified email must have followed for more than and then you could set a minimum of 10 minutes or a max or a max of three months. So you can you can actually kind of control a little bit more if you want to be a bit more relaxed on that. If you just don't want to mess with any of that, then stick with all chatters must have a verified email. That's probably going to uh, help most people out. So that is email verification. Uh, phone verification is very similar. Um, you can say, you know, all chatters must have a verified phone number or similar to the email verification. You can you can do something similar here. So you can decide whether or not first time chatters must have a verified phone number or if they don't, you can say, you know what, as long as their account is older than a certain amount of time, that's acceptable. Chatters without a verified phone number must have followed for more than again, 10 minutes or all the way up to three months. So you can you can decide um, if you really, really want to protect your channel. Uh, all chatters must have a verified email and a verified phone number. As you can see, uh, <laughs> Twitch has this little safety rating here. This looks like the safest version of it. Um, you could also exclude particular things here based on subscribers, VIP, VIPs, and moderators. So if you if you don't care if there's a certain group of people that, that just don't have verified, you know, like 
any of these above verifications, you can choose to exclude your subscribers via VIPs and moderators. So some more controls. Um, Twitch in their blog post today said, you know, they're, they're continuing to work on tools. I would love to see that. But this is a first step. And so uh, if you are looking to protect your channel, then uh, I recommend checking these settings out and then um, setting them to what you think is the, the safest for you, your channel, and your community. Um, that is that. So let me know if I missed anything or any thoughts on this particular um, edition of channel privileges to the moderation of, of Twitch channels. Uh, and, you know, stay tuned for more quick uh, tutorials right here on this channel for Twitch. Thanks.